Hey guys, this is Michael Rock and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about answering some of the most popular questions I've received about classing features. Whether you're new to classing or already using it in your teaching, these insights will help you get the most out of the platform. So grab something to drink, sit back and let's dive right into your burning questions. So the question number one, can I record my lessons on Classin and how does it work? This is a very common question, especially for teachers who want to review lessons or provide students with recordings for later use. The answer is yes, and you can record your lessons on Classin and the process is quite simple. To record a lesson for free and save it directly to your computer, all you need to do is click on the record icon located in the top right corner of your Classin interface. Once you hit the record button, it starts capturing your lesson. After you finish recording, the file is automatically saved to your computer. All right, the second question is what teaching tools are available on Classin and how can I use them effectively? Classin offers an exclusive range of teaching tools, making it one of the most versatile platforms for online education. Some of the standout tools include the interactive blackboard, screen sharing polls and breakout rooms. The interactive blackboard is a game changer because it allows you to draw, write and upload teaching materials directly during the lesson. You can use different brush styles, colors, and even shapes to make your lessons more engaging. For example, if you're teaching math, you can draw diagrams or use preloaded graphics from the teaching material library. Breakout rooms are another fantastic feature. With just a few clicks, you can divide your class into smaller groups for collaborative activities or discussions. This is particularly useful for language teachers who want students to practice in pairs or small groups. Finally, don't forget about tools like the timer and the dice. They might seem simple, but they're incredibly effective for creating a structured and interactive learning environment. Question number three, how does Classin handle student participation and engagement? This is a crucial question for any teacher. One of Classin's strengths is how it prioritizes a student's engagement. For example, students can raise their hand virtually, allowing them to indicate when they have a question or want to participate. This feature mirrors the dynamic of an in-person classroom, making it feel more interactive. Another feature is the ability to bring students on stage. This means you can spotlight a specific student, allowing them to share their screen, talk, or write on the blackboard. It's perfect for presentations, group projects, or answering questions in real time. So the next question, what's the difference between the free and pro versions of Classin? This is one of the most frequently asked questions. The free version of Classin is great for small-scale teaching or personal tutoring, but the pro version offers significantly more features. For instance, with the pro version, your lesson duration increases from 40 minutes to up to 3 hours, and you can host unlimited classes per month compared to the 20 class limit on the free version. You also get more advanced features like the ability to record lessons, use breakout rooms and access additional teaching tools, such as the expanded graphic options on the Blackboard. In addition, the Pro version provides access to the management portal, which includes batch course scheduling, member management, online storage management and even a finance center for tracking payments. So the next question, how can I erase everything from the Blackboard in class in? Clearing the blackboard is simple and you have a couple of options to do it efficiently. First, you can use the keyboard shortcut Command N on a Mac or Ctrl N on Windows. When you use this shortcut, a prompt will appear to confirm the action, reminding you that once cleared, the blackboard content cannot be recovered. This is a quick and effective way to start fresh during your lesson. Alternatively, you can achieve the same result using the eraser tool. Simply click on the eraser icon in the toolbar and then choose the clear all option. This will instantly erase all the content from the Blackboard, leaving you with a blank slate to continue teaching. These options give you flexibility depending on your workflow, whether you prefer keyboard shortcuts or working directly with the toolbar. It's always a good idea to double check before clearing to ensure no important content is lost. So there we have it, answer to some of the popular questions about Classin features. And I also wanted to mention that if you sign up using the link provided in the video description, you'll get access to a one month trial of the business version of Classin. The business version offers even more advanced features tailored to enhance your online teaching experience, giving you more control and flexibility over your virtual classroom. So don't miss out on this opportunity to explore the full potential of Classing and see how it can truly transform the way you teach online. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you very soon in the next video.